you and Meek Mill had kind of been back and forth for a while. How did that whole situation start? Um, I think that me and, me and Meek are really similar in a lot of ways. At the same time, we're really different. Um, we're both, we both like, like to see certain opportunities. And we may not necessarily think it's a big deal at that particular point in time. And a lot of times I think things get misconstrued too um, with the way we, we come off and the way we say certain things. So, um, for instance, with the Lotus Flower Bomb situation, um, when he chimed in on that, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because I was like, man, you ain't even got nothing to do with it. Da, 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 da. But then when I look back at it now, I'm like, okay, I get why you said what you said. Um, it was more like a jab, like, come on, dog. You got to be like, we're anybody who knows me knows that that yeah, it has to be crazy to think I'm not getting no money. And anybody who knows Mick Mill has to be crazy to think he ain't getting no money. So it's just one of those things where you got to kind of nudge the next person um, and tell them, like, get it together, man. We do this. We do this. You know what I'm saying? We both getting six figure checks or better. So it's not like you know, this is really that serious. And it was the same thing that I wanted to kind of, um, you know, throw his way with the, with the him and Wale situation. It was just like, man, we don't, it's a lot of people out here that make music to get paid and we ain't them people. You know what I'm saying? Like we really do this and we really blessed to be in a situation where we don't have to worry about some of the things that the regular people have to worry about or the people who aren't as conscious as we are. So we just got to kind of, you know, stay on the right track with that. That's all. I think I remember you made a comment about that whole bottle fight that happened between him and Drake. Oh yeah, back in the gap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. At first, I think that um, I think that somebody actually I, I don't remember where I, where I had saw it at, but um, I thought that um, somebody had said something about uh, Meek being involved. You know, me and Chris been uh, been friends for a long time um, since like right around the, the like post Rihanna situation. So it's, we got some years under our belt or whatever. So you know, and we I was signed to Zone Four a while back. And Chris worked really close with Polo, so we kind of, you know, had a chance to become really good friends. Um, so it's just one of them things, man, like where, you know, if one of your friends get in a fight in the club, you're going to want to fight with them. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't there to fight with them, you're going to want to go fight whoever fought them whenever you weren't there. So, you know. You see y'all ever actually working it out? Doing some music together? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Y'all actually sound real dope together. Yeah. I think Meek Mill's dope, you know? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, um, especially like with... Um, with Drake and, uh, and Chris putting things up under the bridge too and kind of just, you know, putting things aside and working together too. I think that was really dope. So I would definitely do a record with Meek. Even if, if Drake and Chris didn't work together, I'd still do a record with Meek before and after whenever. Like, I'm with it. Shout out to him too. I know he, he got some things going on right now too. So um, I'm going to definitely go get the album. I know a lot of people weren't expecting me to say that, but I'm going to definitely support. <laughs>